It's a pretty rainy day here in Connecticut. It's actually uh, January 1st, New Year's Day, so not as much snow on the ground as we were anticipating, but uh, it does give me a chance to, uh, to unbox the 18 inch Ergo cordless chainsaw uh, that arrived a couple of days ago. Um, I've got a, about an acre of woodland up here uh, that's been seriously neglected probably for about at least a decade. So I've got some cleanup work to do um, and I bought this for it. So today I'm gonna walk through, uh, it's just the unboxing of this. Um, there are a number of different locations you can uh, pick these up from. Uh, if you go onto Ergo's website, they actually list multiple re retailers. Uh, most of them usually have about the same price that you can pick them up for. This time around, um, it was about $30 cheaper on Amazon than it was in uh, my local hardware store. So uh, it was a good chance to have a Amazon delivery that was actually for me. Uh, okay, than... first look inside here. Uh, we're gonna see, so it comes with a charger <clears throat> and a battery. One of the things I really enjoy about the uh, the Ogo brand is that the, the batteries fit every uh, appliance that you can get. So I have a snow blower as well. So the batteries should be interchangeable. So because I have, I have it already, technically I don't need to charge it, but it's nice to, nice to have. So one battery in here looks like manual warranty guide. Here's my charger. And I was curious as to whether there was any assembly required even to attach the handle, but it does not look like it. So let's move this box in that's on here. Yeah, and there we go. Actually, no assembly at all. Just gonna pop that over there for a minute. And here we go. So there's the 18 inch. Just hold it upside down to get it into view. Turn it around here. 18 inch Ergo chainsaw. So uh, I'm gonna charge the battery up and then uh, power this up and, and see where we go. So this should be the blade cover, should just slide off. Yep, there we go. There's my 18 inch saw. Great stuff, I'm excited to use it. So I just wanna take a moment and show you the, uh, the, the, the operator's manual that comes with this chainsaw as well. So um, for anyone who's not owned a chainsaw before, it actually is really useful. So it's, uh, it's, it's given you from a, from like a, a 101 in chainsaw uh, mechanics here, uh, chainsaw operation. Uh, like a, a small glossary. So uh, yeah, like any, anyone, <laughs> this was surprising many people, uh, still gonna need some oil in there. So obviously not running on, on, on diesel or gasoline, but <laughs> you, you're gonna need some oil in there to keep it running smoothly. Um, but let's just skip a couple of pages ahead here. Look, there's some operation tips, preparing the work area right straight on, always use it with two hands, um, base, some basic cutting, uh, preparation for for tree felling. There's some real useful information in here. So this is a, I'm pleasantly surprised actually. So maybe this comes with a lot of chainsaws, but uh, I wasn't expecting to see this and uh, information probably that was about keeping the tension on the chain, um, uh, the control there. So yeah, this is really useful. So uh, you know, it looks like it's gonna be a great product. So I have this uh, fallen tree in my, in my small woodland. Um, you see, I've obviously made a couple of cuts already, but I, I'm going to time this and just see no world records or anything, but how long does it take the uh, chainsaw to just cut through this? It's about 16, 15, 16 inch wide tree trunk. Uh, so let's take a look. Let's see if I can just prop this up over here, maybe. I'm not sure how much of this you can see. And you're going to crucify me for my technique here. But let's Okay, so there we have it. So quick cut. 
Uh, and I guess uh, I'll have to rewatch the video to figure out how long that took, but I don't know. It seemed a reasonably short piece of time. So my job today is to, obviously, obviously that's, I'm not gonna cut in that size, but probably about a foot long, cuts along here, uh, and then move this down to my garage and uh, dry it out for firewood. 